Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be looking at another creation I fixed for Minecraft 1.5. It's the Hidden Jungle Tree Door. Um, the Hidden Jungle Tree Door is basically a hidden entrance beneath a jungle tree. And what's going to happen when we flick um, the lever over there, uh, basically the tree trunk is going to get pulled down, which will create a spiral staircase inside the tree trunk for us. Um, so we can enter our secret base, which is very cool. So let's just check it out. So we flick the lever, retracts the trunk of the tree, and yeah, it creates a spiral staircase. And then we can just uh, yeah walk into our hidden base, I guess, and just put on a record or something. Um, and getting in is as easy as getting out, as you can see. So no worries about uh, having to build something to get out um, and closing the, the door is really fast so there we go it's closed uh, the redstone behind this thing is uh, pretty crazy um, both because it's really compact and it's also yeah really really efficient really fast um, and it took me a ton a ton of time to actually get this working for Minecraft 1.5 because as you probably know um, everything considering pistons is broken and this is all pistons so it took me two days to just fix this creation so yeah <laughs> I really hope you all enjoy this one because it took me a lot of time to fix but um, yeah enough um, chit chat uh, let's get into the tutorial so before we start building the door, we're first going to quickly check if we have all the required resources, as this is a quiet resource intensive build. So we're going to need 40 redstone, 25 redstone torches, 33 repeaters, 12 sticky pistons, 130 building blocks and 6 slabs. Um, if you want to check on these resources anytime later, they are also in the description. So now we're quickly going over um, the dimensions of this. So um, the redstone for uh, the door is six blocks deep in the ground and is an eight by eight footprint. So you're going to dig six layers of eight by eight. And then your tree is going to be uh, located like this. So that um, two by two is basically the trunk of your tree and the double slabs there um, are basically your um, yeah, the dirt where the tree is uh, grown on top. That's also uh, the same height as this sandstone block. So um, the first two things you're going to do is build two um, stacks of three sticky pistons with a block on top, uh, where the first one is going to be one block higher than your um, ground level of your pit. And then the other one is going to be right on top of the ground level. Um, those two correspond to um, these two blocks from your tree. So yeah, keep that in mind. And yeah, I think that is pretty much everything you need to know about the orientation. Oh yeah, um, this stack of pistons is located on the x-axis of uh, four, oh five, sorry, five x and five y. So five x and five y. That's this one, and the other one is on 5x and 6y. Okay, so I'm just going to remove uh, these blocks as they are just, yeah, they just help you to locate the tree. And I guess we can start building now. So um, on this side, start by placing a block here. That is one out, one, yeah, one out of your wall, so not directly against your wall, but one block. Besides that, okay, and then build a zigzag and place torches here and here. And then go over on the other side and you're basically going to make a little cross. Oh, like this. And then place a piece of redstone dust here and a torch there. And that's going to extend this piston, don't worry. That's completely normal. And then we're going to place a block here and one higher up repeater there facing away on three ticks 
piece of redstone dust on top and then a sticky piston right next to that piece of redstone dust. Um, and then we're going to place a um, repeater here, like that, and a repeater here. And this one is going to be on four ticks, like so. Place a block in the middle. And then we will place two redstone dust like this. And that's basically going to turn off the piston that previously was extended. Then place two blocks here, go one higher up. And place a repeater here on four ticks. Piece of redstone and then a torch like that. Then a block right next to this piece of redstone with a torch on the side. And also on this side. So two torches on the same block. And then blocks on top of these two and on top of this torch. Place a redstone dust on top of this one. Then a block next to this piece of redstone dust. And then right next to that block place a sticky piston. Like so. And then um, that sticky piston is going to hold another uh, one of your um, three blocks. So a wood block. Um, and now to finish off. The blue circuit, place a block right next to that piece of redstone dust, torch like that, then three blocks like this, and a upside down half slab next to this block. Then dust on top of the slab and a repeater pointing into the block. Then a block next to that piece of redstone with a torch on the side and that's going to retract the block again. And then on top of this torch you're going to place a floor block. So the most obvious one is a grass block, because yeah, you're building this in a jungle probably. I'm just going to use a double half slab for the ground block. So that is basically your blue circuit finished. Your input is going to be um, yeah, this block, where I just placed the lever. So you can just flick it, and then let's just see what happens. So these uh, two pistons basically extend, the block gets pushed in, and then it double extends. So that's basically your two blocks of your tree trunk and then when we uh, flick it off it's basically going to retract the pistons so not really that much but yeah it's also not really that much redstone so let's continue with the green circuit so um, go from these two pieces of redstone dust place a block there two blocks like this and then one more there then redstone dust on top of this one and a repeater on one tick delay there that's going to point into a block with a repeater on top on four ticks. Then place uh, three blocks like this and then one block like that. And then a repeater here on two ticks and then dust and dust. Okay. Um, then we're going to place two repeaters here. One on two ticks, one on three ticks. And a repeater there. I have no idea if you can see that, but basically this repeater facing away from this block on one tick. Then a block here with another repeater here on one tick with a piece of redstone dust. Also a piece of redstone dust on top of the block. And then um, this repeater on four ticks is going to point into a block with a redstone torch on the side. Which is basically going to turn on all of these repeaters. Then we're also going to place uh, two blocks like this and then one block higher up. A repeater facing into that block on three ticks. And then oh, two pieces of redstone like this. Then we're going down again. And we're going to make a little zigzag like so. Then torches like so. And then... Uh, these are all going to extend, don't worry. Next to this block you're going to place another block. Next to this block, place another block. Then on top of this one, place a piece of redstone dust. And then on top of this one, place a repeater. And then place another torch on the side of this one. And then on uh, top of both torches, place blocks. And then place a block here. And on top of that block we're going to place another repeater facing away, like so. Leave it on one tick, place a block right in front, then a torch on both sides again, and then once again on both torches blocks. Then right next to this torch, place another block with a piece of redstone dust. And that is the green circuit completed, so let's just quickly reset this piston. 
and let's see what it does. So now it double extends this one again, and also this one is double extended. And then when we unflick it, it's going to retract that block, grab it, and then basically double extend. So now we just need to let the third piston extend and then retract it completely, and then it's basically done. So that is going to be the red circuit. So let's grab our red wool. We're going to start that one here. So place a block here and blocks like this and then just knock out those two and then all on the same sides place torches like so and then um, facing away from this bottom torch place a repeater on two ticks then place a line of redstone like this and then place two blocks with a repeater on one tick in the middle then on top of that last block, place a torch with a block on top, with a torch on top. Uh, now we are going to place a block on top of this torch, and a block on the side, and a block lower. On the lower block, place a piece of redstone, place a block on top, and then place a repeater there on two ticks. So this piece of redstone does, should be turned on now. Place two blocks, two repeaters, both on four ticks. Place a sticky piston with a block on top. Another block with a repeater on one tick delay that's basically going to create a pulse. That's going to phase into a block with redstone just on top. That's going to connect here, so quickly block that one off. Um, then this redstone is going to phase into this block and place another block there with a repeater that's basically going to grab the power from this block. Leave it at one tick, place another block there, next to the piston, and another block there. And then place uh, redstone dust on top of both. This one is going to connect again, so block that one off as well. And then we're going to place a block here, um, a redstone dust on the floor there, and then a repeater here on three ticks, like so. So repeat on three ticks, that's going to point into a block that's right on top of the redstone dust. And then place two more blocks here. And uh, block this one off. Then on top of this block, place a repeater on two ticks. That's going to phase into another block, like so. And place a block in front with a piece of redstone dust. Place a block here. And then this piece of redstone dust is going to phase into another block with a torch on top. Then place a block here with a with two repeaters, one on three ticks, one on four ticks. Then these two connect um, again, so place a block on top to cut off the power. Um, then we're going to place uh, blocks around like this. And then a half, oh, a half slap upside down there. A uh, piece of redstone dust there, repeater here. Redstone dust there, repeater here on three ticks. And then another piece of redstone dust there. This piston is going to extend that is completely normal. Then these two are going to connect again. So block that one off. Place a block there. And then um, we're going to create a little platform here with a half slab there and uh, place a block on top of this torch as well with a redstone torch on the side then a repeater here on four ticks that's going to go around the corner like this and then a repeater in the opposite direction on two ticks repeater on one tick there and then just redstone dust like this and that is going to connect again with uh, the lower one so block that one off these two have to be connected, so just leave it like that. And um, then we're almost done. Place a block here, uh, and also a block next to the torch, and then place a block on top of this uh, redstone, and then place a redstone just in the middle. And then uh, lastly, place a block on top of this torch, a block on, oh, not there, a block on this side, then a sticky piston on top of the redstone there, next to the torch, block like so, and then a block uh, piston next to the block, 
can be a normal piston as well if you're um, low on slime balls and that is pretty much the whole thing um, I hope <laughs> let's quickly test it I guess so flick it on double extends also triple extends the other one flick it off grabs the block and retracts completely so that's basically it let's quickly fix this one so it's in the right orientation and now we can basically start uh, putting in our uh, grass I guess and planting our tree um, so we also need some saplings and we also need some bone meal you're going to need more than one bone meal because of the 1.5 update um, the block um, I yeah, put double slabs there now I'm just going to replace it with grass just go around the, the square where the tree is going to be and then you can basically fill in the rest with uh, grass as well uh, I'm not going to do everything because that's going to take um, too much time and then just uh, remember where the square is and place your grass there as well place your four saplings where you just place the four blocks and uh, yeah, then just grow the tree so there's the jungle tree and now um, remove these two blocks and this one block and also remove these three dirt blocks so these two um, wood blocks should be right below the ones you just knocked out and now for your um, corridor uh, I'm just going to use some smooth sandstone to do that uh, so you can basically replace all the blocks you previously um, used no problemo um, the only ones you have to be careful about are these two because there's torches on the sides of the blocks so just remove them and then just uh, replace the torches like so and um, after that you can uh, go down if you want to or you can just have your base begin here with um, this being the wall uh, whatever you like I guess um, and uh, your input is going to be this block so just connect a line of redstone to this however you like and if you want to have it the same as I uh, showcased it at the beginning of the tutorial so it's uh, on the block right here then um, I'll quickly show that so place a torch on the side of this block not on the side of this one because that's going to burn out um, then you're going to place a sticky piston uh, on this level oh I'm stuck then a block right below two blocks like this and then one block up and then on those two you're going to place two repeaters and on this one you're going to place a piece of redstone dust and if you now flick it it's going to close the door flick it again and it's going to open up and there we go that is the hidden jungle tree door I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next video